Happy Thursday. I hope you all have been prospering in your purpose and dominating in your destiny. I'm excited to be back here on Facebook Live. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys have been having an auspicious week. <laughs> hope everyone has been prospering in their purpose and dominating in their destiny. I'm going live on two things. So if you hear me repeat that. All right, I'm excited to be back here with you all. I'm gonna give you guys some updates about what we have been working on here at Takumo the Leader LLC. We have just gotten out of something super cool we have did this past year. This is the first time I've done this where we had two classes. We had two classes running at the same time, so we definitely ended that in April. So we had our entrepreneur school and we had our Write Your Book Academy going on at the same time. So we just wrapped those up. So if you have, I'm just going to give you guys some updates as to where I've been wrapping that up, wrapping that first semester up with the entrepreneurs and with the with the writers in our Write Your Book Academy. So I'm so excited that we were able to do that this year. Super huge and super fun. Uh, working with some amazing writers from around the world. So that's what that's one thing we've been doing. And also I we've been working on some nonprofit work with Redeem the Teens, which is helping teenagers to find their voice, identity, and purpose in God. So that was just another thing we've been working on and trying to make sure that we are uh, focused on that as well. So many different things that uh, we, <laughs> we have going on. Hey, Miss Charlene, good to see you. Good to see you from Alaska. All right. <laughs> yeah, if you're coming in, just make sure that you are saying, hey, 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 hey. And also, I forgot to say this. Oh, my goodness. If you're coming in, just say, hey. And if you know someone that is a writer that has a great writing gift or they have a prophetic scribe gift and you know that they're underutilizing this amazing gift, I want you to go ahead and share this broadcast. I want you to share. I want you to engage. Leave as much comments as possible. I like to talk to you all ask you questions while we're on here so go ahead and share with anybody and uh go ahead and already love this because it's about to be it's about to be lit i haven't been on in like four weeks we about to have fun tonight okay so go ahead and already like this and also i want you to do something super huge we have not we have not been focused on this but we're trying to make sure that all of our videos get housed on youtube and so if you want to see this replay you want to be connected to see this information go ahead and go to my youtube even right now and subscribe i know miss charlene's already subscribed okay uh go ahead if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to our youtube to kumbo the leader um if someone's online you can drop the link to our youtube channel you can go search us out definitely subscribe so that you can get these replays because i've had people message me back asking me where this is on um on youtube so we're definitely getting that together so definitely just take a pause right now go ahead to go to our youtube page right now to kumbo the leader and go ahead and subscribe so that you can get all the latest in those videos and also too i want you to make sure that you we are staying connected sometimes we have to uh stay uh do online courses and you know my team is uh my team is what it is um and so we have uh we want to stay connected though so i do talk to my email list i do stay connected via text and so definitely text me right now if you want to stay connected offline you want to be able to get exclusive offers you want to be able to get access to different information because we have other information that we don't post here but we only share with those individuals that are subscribed to our community go ahead and text the word writer to 919-807-1329 text me really quickly text the word writer so that i know that it's you uh, and then text the word, uh, text it to 919-807-1329 oh my goodness thank you so much for doing that right now awesome 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 all right uh just another some more updates if you uh were wondering where we were we have been working also on also i'm an online pastor so that's another thing that i have to keep up with and be responsible for so if you don't see me i'm probably doing some like background work for uh the online pastor position that i have at my church and then also guys guess what i've been doing okay i had this super crazy goal that i wanted to endeavor on this year i wanted to accomplish this year I wanted to do a audiobook, right? I've never done an audiobook before. And so this year I said, you know what, I'm gonna do an audiobook. But but guess what? It was harder than I expected. I didn't expect it to be as hard as it was. And so yeah. Uh 
<laughs> it is what it is. And so that's what we've been working on. And awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm seeing these text messages come through. Okay, people are listening. All right. And so it was harder than I expected. So we've been working super hard on that to try to get that out as well so that you guys can receive audio books from me as well. Also, if you don't know, we have my new book out in hard copy. It's my guide for the prophetic scribe. And so that's why we're here tonight. This is such a huge topic that I wrote a book about it and I'm working on volume two. <laughs> So that's what we've been working on. So someone can drop the link. It's on Amazon as well if you have not gotten that book. And then we have our Bible study journal. If you did not get that, we also we have our hard copy out and we have a paperback edition on Amazon. So go ahead and get your copies as well. So let's get into this. If you have not shared this already or if you have not tagged your friends, please go ahead and do so. Let your friends know about what this prophetic scribe gift is. This is such a unique gift and I feel like it's an underutilized gift and we don't have a lot of information on it. And that's why I decide we have some information, but I want us to be able to be a people that are super invested in this gift, right? Because one of the things that a lot of people complain about, especially as believers, is that that there's not a lot of material, there's not a lot of screenplays, or there's not a lot of TV shows or movies that are that have that have certain level of interest when it comes to uh, when it comes to believers, right? And so one of the things I'm going to tap into this, but a prophetic scribe is not only limited just to writing books or just to writing prophetic words. A prophetic scribe has the ability to write screenplays, movies, blog posts, commercials. If you could do anything with this gift if you allow yourself to understand the different dimensions of this gift and if you allow God to be the conductor of your pen. And so just getting into this, a prophetic scribe is someone, obviously the word has the word prophetic in it. So a prophetic scribe, number one, you have to be a person that has a strong prophetic gift. And when we say you have a strong prophetic gift, this means that you have the ability to easily hear what the spirit of God is saying. You can hear what he's saying and then communicate that message clearly and effectively for another person to understand what he said, right? And so sometimes maybe God gives you visions, he gives you dreams, but it's not enough that you just saw the vision, you just saw the dream. Can you articulate the message behind why God gave you that dream? Can you articulate a message that, you know, God, you, the information got flooded in your brain and are you able to write it out? Are you able to speak it out so, and to share it with other people so that they can understand the nature and the character of God? There's different dimensions of this gift and the way that you are, the way that you invest yourself in even the prophetic, I'm not going to talk about that too long, but you grow in the prophetic and you are able to understand the nuances of that gift. If you are a person that is super invested in studying and you're a person that's invested in practicing and a person that's invested in learning more about what it is that God has put in you to carry. And when we talk about the prophetic, there's different dimensions. We, you know, we have the word of wisdom, which is God giving you a solution for a problem. And so this is super amazing because you will know that you have the gift of the word of wisdom because you have a God sized solution to a problem or to an issue that you knew that you did not come up with this information on your own. You knew that when you were in a meeting and you didn't study any of this material and all of a sudden you get an answer, that is the word of wisdom. God gave you a solution. So when we talk about wisdom it's practical information right but it's a solution to a problem that god god has given you a god-sized solution that you knew you could not have come up with this information on your own we have the next dimension of being prophetic which is a word of knowledge which is when you know information uh whether it be past or present but the thing about this gift too is that a lot of people they know information but it's like okay you know information but what does that tell you about the, what is god trying to say about it so you're a person that's mature in this gift because you ask god the next level question why did you show me this information? How is this information tied to this person's destiny or to this person's future? And what is it that you're, why did you show me this past or present information and how does it correlate to where they're going? And so it's not only enough to say, oh, I know that information about you. Why is God showing you that information? Why did he show you that person's past? Why did he show you that person's childhood? What was the point of it? There has to be a point. There has to be a message. And so you're a person that knows how to carry the prophetic well because you hear God for the next level and you hear God for the next realm of what it is that he's trying to get you to bring out and clearly communicate to the person that he's getting you to um, have this conversation with or deliver this particular word to or information to. Um, and obviously we have the prophetic, which is being able to uh, see what God is doing in the future and to be able to see into the future and speak into the future and to declare what thus saith the Lord concerning the future, right? And so when we talk about having the prophetic scribe gift, I like said there's so many dimensions to this. You are a person that essentially has a strong prophetic gift, but you also are able to write with the Holy Spirit. And so why is this different than any regular writer? I want 
want you to type in the comments, hashtag uncommon, hashtag uncommon. You are uncommon because you don't get your cues from man. You don't get your cues from your own self. When you are a prophetic scribe, your mandate, your ordinance for whatever it is that you're writing comes straight from the Holy Spirit. And so you may want to write on a particular topic, but maybe God didn't say that that's what you should write about. And so this is why this is super different than a different gift because you are from a different, a regular writer. You're an uncommon writer because you get your cues from heaven. You get your, you get your, your inclinations. You get your wisdom from heaven. And so sometimes it's so profound because you'll start getting information that you never studied before. You'll start getting information that's like, how do I know this information? And God will begin to download it into you because you opened yourself up to be able to receive that information from him. And so in the body of Christ, you may be a teacher. So you create didactic material so that the body of Christ can mature. You create certain things, workbooks, you write blog posts so that the body of Christ can mature. This is why this is different because your gift is used in a way to help the body of Christ to mature. And also you can use your gift in the world because you can help people to be able to glorify God and see God's heart and his perspective. And so you can create a movie, you can create commercials, you can do certain things and people are going to be able to see God's heart behind this message because you allowed him to be the conductor of your pen. All right. Miss Charlene's always saying she's uncommon. The rest of y'all that's watching y'all uncommon. If you're watching the replay, put hashtag uncommon. You are led by the Holy spirit. And so what does this mean too? This means that you're not so much concerned about grammar and mechanics. And I'm a former English teacher. So, you know, I like grammar and mechanics. We own a publishing company, TTL publishing. And so we are concerned about that, but you, that's not your first point of concern. Your first point of concern is what is on the heart of God? What is on the mind of God and how does he want to use me right now to be able to disseminate this message to his people? What is on his heart and are you open to hearing this? There's, you need to get this book because there's so much more information about how to use this gift. And so this is important. This gift is super important. I'm talking about this gift because this gift has the ability, number one, to focus individuals. There are some people that are not focused on their purpose. They're not focused on the heart of God. They don't understand what God is doing because they need you to start writing and focus them. There's certain blog posts that you can write. There's certain status updates that you can write certain news. If you're, if you're a news outlet, you can write certain articles that can get people to focus on what is going on. And so here's another thing too. We have the agenda of the world, right? Where they write all these articles, they put these different things together and they're writing from a worldly perspective. And you who has the spirit of God living inside of you, and you have this uncommon, unusual gift, this, this amazing gift. And God is trying to get you to focus people and get people's hearts to be settled inside of him. And so I would, I would love, I would love it. God would love it. If we are people that take our gifts seriously so that when we're, you know, when we're reading the newspapers, when we're reading certain news outlets, we're able to see what is God doing in this country? What is God saying about this country? Right? And so a lot of people like to say, Oh, all these bad things are happening in all these bad things are happening in these different countries or in, in this, these different places. And it's like, okay, what is God saying? Are you, are you, are you using your gift in the media to be able to share what the heart of God is? Are you writing those children's books, right? A lot of people are saying, oh, all these different entities are coming in and they're flooding our children with this, with all this nasty and this, this horrible stuff, this repugnant stuff. Okay. So you take your pen and you be led by the spirit to create something that can change the lives of children, that can change the lives of teenagers, that can change the lives of adults, right? Um, is it too late? Oh no, it's not too late. Miss, uh, Miss Charlene, you can sign up right now. Matter of fact, on TakumaTheLeader.com. We're doing early registration right now as we speak. All right. So you're just in time. We close out early registration on May 30th. So this is why this gift is so important. You focus people you are. And also to you, are, this gift is supposed to bless other people. And so some of us, you know, we're kind of tepid about using our gift because we're like, oh, well, I'll write it later and I'll do this later. And the thing about it is if you are a prophetic scribe, this is not about you. This is about God getting his agenda. This is about God, the agenda of heaven being disseminated in the earth realm. So this is not about you. This is about blessing other people. I want you to type in the comments, bless other people. Whenever God gives you a gift, the intention is to bless other people. The intention is to cause other people's worlds to be expanded and for their minds to be open to new territory. Maybe there's certain people that have not 
not been able to see God from a different perspective because you have not used your pen. Maybe there are certain people that have not been able to heal after divorce or heal after something horrible has happened to them or heal after anything has happened to them because you have not used your pen to give them God's perspective concerning this topic. And so this is why it's super important to be a person that is serious about this gift and not lackadaisical and not sitting on your hands when you know and you're listening to this because you know that over and over again people have said oh when are you going to write this when are you going to do this and again this is not only about you being a writer because also it, it actually pushes you into a place if you're a prophetic scribe if you remember anything in the scriptures scribes actually took the scroll and they were they were teachers as well so they were they were able to handle the scriptures very well so if you're a prophetic scribe you have the responsibility too to be able to handle the scriptures well and to be able to see where who Jesus Jesus is through the scriptures and share that information with the people that God has called you to lead. All right. So those are the reasons why this is important. It's you're supposed to be able to glorify God through TV shows, through your books, through your, through your workbooks. If you're, if you're a teacher and you want to create your own material as a teacher, you need to be able to sharpen this gift. This gift. There's levels to this gift. I want you to type in the comments. There's levels. There's levels. There's levels. And if you just came in, go ahead and share this with your friends and uh, and let them know that we are on here tonight. So I want you to type, we're going to do five signs of a prophetic scribe. So this might be you. If any of this information resonates with you when I say these five signs, I want you to type in the comments, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. So number one, you might be a prophetic scribe if you are Holy Spirit led when it comes to your writing. This means that when you go into a writing project, you may go into a writing project thinking one way, but you can sense and feel the spirit of God shifting you and moving you into a different direction. This happens so many times with certain writers that I have, they had a mindset that they came in. They're like, Oh, I'm going to write on this topic. But then you feel something tugging in your heart, the Holy spirit, you feel him tugging and pulling on your heart to be able to shift in a different perspective. Cause he's saying my people need to hear about this in this hour. And that's another thing. When you are a prophetic scribe, you have to understand times and seasons. Maybe this is the time where you have to start talking about, you have to start talking about marriages or you have to start talking about how children need to have high self-esteem because there's something on the horizon. Maybe the adversary has an agenda and he has a plan and he wants to use your pen. He wants to use your words to be able to counteract the agenda of the adversary. And so if you are a prophetic scribe, you go into your writing project, you thought you, you had it all together. You had your pretty outline together. And that's me because sometimes I have my stuff together and I write a lot. So I'll be like, Oh yeah, I'm about to do this. Or even when you're about to prepare a message, maybe God is giving you a message to teach. Maybe you're teaching a sermon, you're preaching or something, and you got one idea and all of a sudden it just shifts when you're in the middle of that, when you're in the middle of writing what it is that God is sharing with you. Number two, I want you to type, that's me if that's ever you. You go into a writing project or you start doing your devotional or you, you're writing in your journal or you're teaching, you're about to, you're about to get a teaching together and you thought, oh, I got this. And then God is like, nope, move this way, then move that way, move this way, then move that way, and then move this way. And it's easy for you. It's not arduous. It is something that you do easily and seamlessly. And it's something that you can sense and you can feel and you can grow in this too. So these may not be all of the, you may not be all of these things, but you may desire to grow in these particular areas. Number two, you know that you have a series of books and writing topics inside of you. You always say to yourself, I have books. I have books on top of books. I have many books inside of me. I have many teachings inside of me. I have so many workbooks. I have so much didactic material that I got to get out of me. I got to produce this information. So if you're a person that's like, you have book series on top of book series, maybe you write in volumes. You're like, Okay, volume one, volume two. Oh, I got this other book idea and it's like lodged in your head or maybe you keep a list of them. Maybe you haven't started writing on them, but you know that the spirit of God is pressing on you saying, hey, I want you to write a teenage series. Hey, I want you to write a series on how to heal from a heartache or how to heal from brokenness. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. And so you have these, uh, this plethora, you have this volume in your head of all these different ideas of different book topics and even blog series, right? And even some of y'all, this is off topic, off my script, but some of y'all just be on these, you be on Facebook and your status updates go on and on and on and on and on and on. That might be a sign that you're a prophetic scribe. You have all these status updates 24 seven or you, or like you're on a string, you're on a roll. Maybe you're on Twitter and you have like the same, you have the same idea, but you have more information on this idea. Maybe this is an idea that God is giving you saying, Hey, Hey, I want you to write a book or I want you to write a workbook or I want you to write a movie. I want you to do something bigger with this information. 
I want you to package it in a way so that other people can be able to hear and read this information. Number th type that's me if any of these resonate with you. Number three, healing through writing. You have used writing to heal before, and so you understand the, the weightiness and you understand how this is super important, This how this tool was super important to your healing process. Maybe you journaled, maybe you... um. You journaled your way through healing. God gave you more. He gave you a better, a fresh perspective of your purpose because you journaled your way to healing. And not only that, you have a strong desire for other people to experience this type of healing as well. And because you have that desire, you either a teach them how you did it or B, you write a you write a story to empower other people or you write a play, you write a movie to empower other individuals to stick in their process, to stay in their process until God heals them because you know that you got healed as well from from writing and not only that, you were able to create a book, you were create, able to create a workbook because you use this information. God this is the doorway that God used for your first book to be produced. I'm saying this for my own self, one of the ways that I got even started into writing my first book was I actually used writing to heal from my father's death. So one of the tools that I use, you know, counseling, therapy, deliverance, prayer, inner healing was also writing and writing is a form of inner healing. And so that was the avenue that God used. That was one of the tools that God used in order for me to be able to heal uh, from my father's death. And so that was, uh, that's super huge. A lot of prophetic scribes that I meet, they have used it to heal or they, they were not able to talk they so instead of them talking they weren't able to say their prayers out loud and so instead they wrote out their prayers maybe you find yourself writing out your prayers you write letters to god because you are in a place maybe you're in a sunken place you're in a, a deep despair and it's hard for you to get the words out and so you use writing in order for you to get the message out to god that hey i really need help all right number four this is another one that is like that really rocks people number four the message tested you first this is huge because a lot of prophetic scribes, they go through some things that maybe you may feel that they're not fair, right? You may feel that, why did this happen to you? And you start questioning, you know, sometimes you start questioning, God, are you there? God, do you love me? But sometimes you go through betrayal. Sometimes you go through heartache. Sometimes you go through certain things. And sometimes you didn't even cause the problem and it still came to your feet because I believe that we cannot preach and we cannot teach and we cannot write sometimes unless we can't write from a place of compassion. And sometimes you don't have enough energy information unless you were in that situation unless you were steeped in that situation and so sometimes you go through certain situations and it tests you first so that you can write from a place of compassion and not only that so so that you can write from a place of conviction right people need to believe what you are writing and sometimes you go through i'm not saying all the time you have to be tested first but sometimes your message is a little bit more potent your less your message is a little bit more weightier because you went through it so you know exactly what you're talking about and not only only that you're able to talk to people from a, pers a perspective of compassion and also you're able to give people better jewels and better wisdom and so sometimes the message is going to test you first if this is you type that's me in the comments the message is going to test you first you're going to go through a season we're like why am i going through the season but i want to encourage you tonight that sometimes that the way that i live my life nowadays i just be like okay i went through that i'm gonna write a new book because i'd rather us prosper from pain i'd rather us allow God to get the victory from pain. I'd rather us, and sometimes it's not even a painful experience. It's just something that you just had to go through. And sometimes it's uncomfortable. Sometimes it's just, just it's a, it vexes your spirit that you had to go through. It's annoying that you had to go through it. But you are not going through this for yourself. You're going through this for other people. And so I want you to be able to start thinking about generations on your mind. I want you to start thinking about the other people that God has called you to impact and why you're going through these things. It has to test you first sometimes, all right? Number Five, this is our last one. You, this is a, a big one that a lot of prophetic scribes have. You have journals on top of journals, on top of journals, on top of journals. You have all these journals. I have some on my uh, table right here. All these journals that are filled out. You have all these journals and you're like, I have a bunch of notes and I sit with God. I just, I just wake up in the morning. I write with God. I go to the beach, wherever you live. I go to these different places. I go to the coffee shop and I just have all these journals. I just have all of them. And so one of the things though, that as a prophetic scribe, when is it that you're going to share this information with other people? How can you share these teachings and how can you share this information and how can you put it in a workbook? How can you, what can you do with these things? 
And so that is why we created the Prophetic Scribe School. We created a community to help individuals that have this Prophetic Scribe gift to elevate in their prophetic gift, their teaching gift, and in their writing gift because they all they all encompass together and we talk about how do these gifts work together i want you to type that's me if you have so many journals you have you're obsessed with journals you like the prettiest journal you have these pretty markers you want to have all these different color pens i got all these things you have all these highlighters you're like oh my goodness i gotta get the best pens i have to have the best highlighters i have to have a pink pen i have to have a purple pen i have to highlight this and that you might be a prophetic scribe i want you to get this book because there's actually 27 signs in this book there's an exhaustive list to identify that you might be a prophetic scribe and this is the season this is the time because guess what we're only offering this class once this year and so i want you to go to takumatheleader.com i'm gonna drop the link in the comments I want you to go to TacomaTheLeader.com and I want you to get in for the early registration. I want you to not miss that early registration. And I also want you to not miss out on this opportunity because we can only do this class once this year. And I want you to be part of our exclusive prophetic scribe community. We are creating something for people that have been maybe misunderstood or for individuals who, are, who have a lot of this creative ability but are trying to figure out how all these different things are going to work together. And so you can go on the website and read, read about what we're doing each week. This is definitely an acceleration course if you're a person that's excited about being accelerated because it was going to be super intense and a lot of information i want you to type in the comments hashtag acceleration hashtag acceleration because this is going to be we're going to we're going to we're going to give you a lot of information, information that I've studied for years. You guys are going to get it in five weeks, okay? That is acceleration. If you've ever been to any of my courses, you know that we do the absolute most and put so much information. We jam-pack our classes so that you can have the tools in order for you to dominate in your destiny and prosper in your purpose. So week one, we're going to talk about the power of a prophetic scribe, understanding the roles and responsibilities and protocols of using the prophetic scribe gift. Week two, we're going to talk about being a teacher of the Bible. So we're going to learn some habits, some disciplines, and some activities to help us to be people to understand how to make the Bible practical. Week three, we're going to jump into that place where a lot of prophetic scribes find themselves in where they're like, oh my gosh, I have all these journals. How can I create a workbook or how can I create a devotional? How can I create a book? We're going to tar start talking about how to take those notes and archive them into something that other people can read. I'll show, I'll share that formula with you. Week three, week four, week five, go ahead and read the rest. We're going to do some prophetic activation, some fun things in order for our gifts to be sharpened because every, the only way that we become masters at our gifts or the only way that we understand how to use our gifts and understand our spiritual technology is being intentional about our growth growth and our development. And so if you're a person that's like, Hey, I know that there's so much inside of me and I have not been able to tap into it. And I want to get language. I want to get definitions. I want to be able to have practical things in my hands. Something about me. I like to be as practical as possible and give you things in your hands so that you can be able to use these things. So early registration and the payment plan ends on May 30th. I want you to shout below. If you have any questions, if you're just coming on, go ahead and share this with someone that's like, Hey, they've been sitting on the prophetic scribe gift. They're like a really good teacher, but like they need to write a book or maybe they can sharpen their teaching gift or they have not been teaching. They have not been, uh, they, they want to go deeper into understanding how to use the Bible in the, in the work that God has given them. How can I make the Bible practical in my own life? And then how can I clearly communicate that to the people that God has called me to? And so I want us to get into this prophetic scribe school, be a part of our community. If you're just hopping on, we did five signs that you might be a prophetic scribe number one we talked about how you're led by the holy spirit you are allowing god to be you're you're a great conduit that god can use to bring his message into the earth realm to disseminate his heart to people in the earth realm number two you are a person that has a series of books or a series of writing topics that god has given you to expand on maybe you have volumes maybe you're an expert in a particular area maybe you're an expert and you researched on a, a specific dimension and you are super engrossed in this part of your life Life. you have so much information on it hence you know prophetic scribe i have a lot of information on it so i have a lot of different things to share so what is it that god has given you so we're going to talk about that in the prophetic scribe school about how to hone in on our prophetic voice and really own what it is that god or the message that god has given us and to really embrace our idiosyncrasies because that is where you will have your authority number three we talked about how you use writing to heal and you also want other people to experience that so you 
share your story, you share your wisdom, you share your jewels with other people because you want people to experience victory through the way through the way of writing. You want people to be able to heal as well. As a prophetic scribe, your your goal should be that you should want people to heal well. You should want people to heal well because you want them to be able to see God from a healed perspective. And number four, the message tested you first. And so maybe you're teaching on a topic and you're able to write with God and be able to accurately and com- uh, and clearly communicate to people what it is that you went through. And not only that, you're doing it from a place of compassion and you're doing it very skillfully. You're doing it from a place of mastery, right? Because sometimes you go through certain things, but you're not able to articulate and give people wisdom that they can actually use for their daily life. And you're not able to articulate how people should see God and how they should be able to grow closer with him. And so as a prophetic scribe, we're going to begin to talk about that and definitely challenge you. We already have homework. So if you haven't joined, you the homework already got disseminated, right? Because we did early registration. So homework already got disseminated. So I want you to join like tonight because you have a homework assignment that I, I gave people. And then number five, you are a person that has a mountain of journals. You have journals on top of journals, on top of journals. And you have, you have, you're obsessed with journals. You're obsessed with markers, pens. And so now you're like, how am I going to take this information that I've been using? I've been writing for years with God. How am I going to take it and put it into a product that I can share with other people so that they can be able to experience what I've experienced with God. And I can share my history with other people. One of the things that as a prophetic scribe, you have to be a person that has a history with God. And so your journals cut a, open us up into that history that you have with God and you're able to give people even a greater conviction to continue to serve and worship God only and to continue to chase after him. So we want you to get into this. And I want also, I want you guys to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and yeah. So if you're joining the prophetic scribe school, it is a gathering where we are learning how to elevate our teaching, writing and prophetic gift. We're learning how all these three gifts work together and the different avenues that God can use this gift in and also how to sharpen our voice. We're going to do some prophetic activations as well so that we can grow in this gift. I'm going to give you guys two declarations. If you get the book, there's 27 declarations in chapter nine that you should declare over yourself. Yep. 27 declarations that you should declare over yourself and declare over your writing gift. And one of the dangerous things to do is to become too familiar with this writing gift, right? That's the dangerous thing because even I'm saying it for myself that God had to deal with me and convict me and that's why I came back to convict other people because he showed me that I was really uh, just flippant about the gift but there were so many things so much information that the body of Christ needed or so much information that even the world needed from his perspective from his heart and so that's what he wants to share right and so marrying and also too just marrying what you know you're, you're teaching like what did you learn in school and then what is God showing you about that particular topic that's next level being a prophetic scribe what is it that you learn from your own studies and how is God trying to use that and and be able to bring his perspective and his heart concerning that topic and concerning the area that you are called to impact what is the sphere of influence that you are called to impact and how can God's voice be disseminated into that realm I love Dr. Gary Chapman he's able to use his anthropology and use God's heart to be able to share how to be able to have better relationships with people. So he uses his degree, but also he tells us from a godly perspective, uses scriptures to be able to share that information. If you know anything about him, he has a plethora of books. He has so many different books, so many different teachings, podcasts, because the prophetic scribe gift is not just limited to just books, podcasts, commercials, TV shows. Talked about that already. All right. Let me see if there's any questions before I jump off of here. If you're watching the replay, go ahead and tag me. Let me see if there's any questions. We're going to talk about uh, the rest of this month, probably going into different ways to grow your gift uh, I'll share with that I'll share those with you before we get into this school I'll share with you some of the responsibilities of a prophetic scribe so that we can get a deeper understanding of what it is that God has called us to do all right let me see if you have any questions so I have answered Miss Charlene's question so it's, it's not too late we are doing early registration right now all right let me do declarations I want you guys to type this out and say this to yourself My words will bring healing, hope, and strength to my audience. I want you to declare that so that before you speak, you know that your words are going to bring hope, healing, and strength to your audience. And number two, your writing gift is making room for you in uncommon places, right? I think it's Proverbs 16, 18, that your writing gift will make room for you in uncommon places. Your writing gift is going to make room for you in uncommon places. Those are your declarations if you want to... Learn if you want to, uh, Proverbs 18 is, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to get more, get the book, 
so that you can see all the scriptures that go with the declarations as well. All right, if there are no questions, I want you guys to go ahead and definitely get that um, prophetic scribe book as well so that you can learn more about what it is that God has given you. It's on Kindle. It, there's a paperback edition as well. So go ahead and get that on Amazon. I'm going to drop the link. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I am out of here. I want you guys to make sure that you are continuing to prosper in your purpose and dominate in your destiny. I'm going to leave a legacy in writing with you later and love you like a leader. Bye. Have a good night.